I made it! <laughs> I'm here at the Mises Institute in Auburn, Alabama, and this is your Anarchist War Journal entry number 12. So after a long trek driving from Richmond, Virginia, I'm finally here at the place I've wanted to be uh, all year long now since submitting the, the application, since talking about it, I think, back since February, I believe. And yeah, this is an amazing place. This is a great place to learn real good sound economics. You have uh, great professors here, great lectures. Uh, for me, this is gonna be a week long affair. And I just got out of a talk that Judge Napolitano was just giving just now on the fertility of the constitution on fighting for freedom, for falling and being uh, due diligence to not compromising your principles. Live by first principles and die by first principles. And that was a great speech that he gave on that regard. And right now that it's getting dark, I'll show you guys what the inside looks like. So let me know uh, what time you want to do this. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually told Jeff to I don't want to talk to <laughs> 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 So where are you from and what brings you to the Mises Institute? Well, I'm from Chile. I'm, I came from, to the Mises Institute because I am a libertarian. I've been libertarian for like a year and a half, two years. And the scholars here are very outstanding. And was, well, I was excited about having the chance to be in front of them and being able to ask them questions personally. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I've wanted to come for a couple years just so I could learn a little bit more from the instructors in person and maybe find a book or two that I've kind of obscure that I can find and take home and discover. So I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I came to the Mises Institute for Mises University to learn uh, about what we're, we're doing over here. I'm a national ambassador for the Mises Institute, so I got to learn what they do at Mises U so I can tell kids around the country about it. I'm originally from Staten Island, New York, but I currently live in New Jersey and go to school there at Seton Hall while I work in Manhattan. Uh, what brought me here, it was a long trip from being probably a liberal to through conservatism to minarchy to finally being a anarchist. Well, I'm from Brazil and uh, I have been following the Austrian School of Economics for five years. And uh, I wanted to come here in order to uh, deepen my knowledge in, in Austrian economics and, and besides to interact with uh, uh, the faculty and, uh, and the people from all over the world that are attending here. What do you think of government and should it be abolished? I don't think highly of government and it should be abolished. Um, I think government is pretty much the worst thing that exists in the planet. Um, I think it should absolutely be abolished because it's the use of force and violence against people, and that's not okay. Yes, I do think uh, government should be abolished. Uh, I don't. I don't think I would hit the button if if it was to end instantly. I think it should be a gradual process because while markets are great at solving problems, they do need to take time to catch up. The hard part is how to do that, which I'm. One of the reasons why I'm here, I'm trying to find solutions. Uh, what do I think of government in general? Well, I argue uh, government itself is uh, harmful for many reasons. But if, if you want to just look at uh, probably uh, the two biggest reasons, I think, is if you take the Austrian view, they don't have the relevant knowledge to, uh, to make decisions better than what the spontaneous order of people would create. Or if you look at the public choice view, that they don't even have the incentive to want to create the better uh, environment. Well, I think it's a good idea, but uh, it's an unlikely, unlikely thing to happen, uh, at least for a hundred years, maybe. Unless, unless the internet keeps, keeps being free and, and people start find out, finding out the truth about uh, what government is all about. And, about government, so far I think there is almost no good government. Just maybe a few I would consider like good government. And if it should be abolished, 
Yeah, we may say that. <laughs> it, it, could be a, it could be a solution. I don't know if it should be suddenly or slowly, but yeah, it could be a solution. What does free market anarchy mean to you? Free market anarchy to me is uh, people interacting voluntarily with one another without any coercion or force on either side of the equation and no third party arbiters. So um, it's a it's a way that humans can trade and interact peacefully without anyone feeling threatened or like they're going to be uh, hurt by others. Uh, it's just how we live our everyday lives pretty much. The majority of our life, we just uh, make our own decisions anyway. So I don't know why it's absurd to think that if we just push it a little bit farther and get rid of the predators that are out there, that everything would fall apart. I feel like everything would be put back together. Uh, I just read actually a great paper on that, uh, which was called... Um... I don't remember who wrote it, but the name of the, uh, do we ever actually get out of anarchy? And it, it sums it up perfectly. And it talks about how, uh, free market anarchy means we, that we have no over, uh, arcing, uh, third party that, uh, it holds a monopoly over us. We could, uh, either deal with our problems with each other or we could have a third party that we agree on. Uh, but then it goes into further how there's uh, something it calls, instead of market anarchy, they call it uh, government, uh, political anarchy, which it says the government is never out of anarchy because they don't have a third party. And so they solve all their problems in-house and it talks about how that actually ends up creating a lot more violence especially the more hierarchical the government is. Right. And or anarcho capitalism would be uh, would be freedom to provide choice to uh, competition in all kinds of uh, the provision of all kinds of goods and services uh, including justice um, and uh, uh, lawmaking and uh, everything. Free market anarchy, I think they're tautologies. I think free, free market itself is anarchy. <laughs> so, uh, and free market is in, in itself freedom and the uh, ability to let anybody to do whatever they want till the freedom of the rest of the people. And I think that that's the more ethical or moral way to live. Are you an enemy of the state? Absolutely. I hope so. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, 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 I am an enemy of the state. <laughs> uh, at least, I, I, I don't know if I, I am an enemy of the state, but at least I'm not his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I am most definitely an enemy of the state. Thank you guys for watching. Stay liberated, and I'll see you guys at the next time. Left behind, the dollar signs rule. But what about the fool who falls victim to the material world?